We're very close to having these new Exalite laptops in people's hands, and there's already drama because there's actual benchmarks out now, but they're telling very different stories, specifically for this one machine, the Samsung Book 4 Edge, which I've ordered to test here, uh, along with a bunch of other laptops with the same chip in it. Here's Tom's hardware article that says Snapdragon Exalite in the wild is allegedly slower than iPhone 12. First benchmarks of Samsung Book 4 Edge disappoint. These are not first benchmarks. We had these benchmarks since March, right here. March 9th, 2024, Snapdragon X Elite Powered Galaxy Book 4 Edge shines. That's such a long name, come on. Shines, shines, not disappoints. And this was March, what's going on? <laughs> well, all right, let's take a look at this. So here are the scores from March. Geekbench single core 2706, multi-core 12646. Not bad, certainly not Apple M3 level. And they do a little comparison down here. M1, M2, M3, and you always verify these scores because this is not right. And I'll tell you why in a moment. And here's Book Edge 4, beating out the M2 and the M1, but not the M3. The M3 single core score is pretty much accurate. I found one right here. They're all about the same, just a little over 3000 for single core, but the multi-core score, this thing has eight cores right here. The multi-core score is around 11,000, higher 11,000, 12,000 around there, not 15,000. For 15,000, you gotta go to the M3 Pro chip, which has more cores. So this article does mince facts, which sheds a little bit of suspicion because they didn't verify the scores. Now. Tom's hardware article from last night is also referring to real scores. And specifically, they're basing their whole disappointment thing around this one tweet, Exalite benchmarks results are out and performance is disappointing. This is what Qualcomm promised, 2977, around 15,000 for the multi-core. And what they actually delivered, here we have scores 1800 for the single core, quite a bit lower than the single core scores, and 11,000 for the multi-core scores. But what are we comparing here? Exalite comes in many different flavors. They have the 84, 80, 78, this is for the Exalite, and then they also have the Snapdragon X Plus, which is 64, that's a lower chip. Which of these chips are they talking about? Because this image cuts off the actual chip information, so we don't know. But I can tell you which one they're talking about. So I found Samsung Electronics Galaxy Book 4 Edge, Ta that name. Here is the score for that. And this does very closely resemble that score from Qualcomm. Very recent upload, two days ago. People already have these in their hands and they're doing the tests. There's a bunch of these there, but they're showing slightly different scores. So this one is from the 84 chip, which is gonna be the higher end one uh, that's put into the Samsung books. And if we compare that to the M3, they are very close on the single core. The M3 is a little bit higher, but because the X Elite has more cores than the eight cores in the M3 base model, it will have a higher multi-core score. So where's this uh, complaint coming from that Tom's hardware pointed to? And this uh, Xer, Twitterer, what do you call these people that are on Twitter or X? I don't even know what to call them anymore. He's pointing to these numbers, which have considerably lower single core and multi-core score for the same laptop. How's that possible? Well, he is referencing this Reddit post. Apparently this person received their laptop like a week ago, and this is just a random user who has been uh, posting stuff about this laptop pictures, his experience, the reflectiveness of the screen, uh, memory speed. I'll link to this down below if you wanna check it out. And finally, these Geekbench scores. The Geekbench scores are pretty low here. So I wanted to go and do some digging myself and I wanted to look up Galaxy Book 4 Edge, whatever they call it. I looked it up under Geekbench and yeah, they come in the 80 variety and the 84 variety. The 84 variety is getting higher scores, but also the 80s are getting pretty decent scores here. So we have a mix of really good scores all the way down here and then really not great scores. As low as 1703 and 11,477 for multi-core. So let's pop this one open and just do a quick side by side here. Same laptop, same versions, different scores. Uploaded a day apart, 64-bit Windows 11 Home. Uh, look at this. The motherboard is different. And of course, that chip is different. And the frequency that the chip is running at is different. So yeah, we're gonna have different scores for that. But what if we pop open another high scoring 80? Like uh, this one, very different scores. The chip is an 80 chip, but again, 
we have different bass frequencies and the motherboards are different too. When you're on the Samsung page buying one of these, you don't get a choice of which MOBO you get or uh, what bass frequency they're using. You just have the uh, XE8100 or the 84. So clearly the chip is capable, but the way the packaging is gonna work is gonna be a little tricky. Makes me wonder what the other laptop manufacturers are gonna be doing and how they're gonna be looking. Maybe I'll know next week, stay tuned. And if you missed my previous video on which laptops are coming out, check it out right over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.